This week, we're gonna talk about five things people hate about living in Portland, Maine. You know, we do a lot of videos about how awesome Maine is. So we give you a little bit of the con side of the pros and cons. So let's do this. All right, so like I said, we're gonna talk about five things that people hate about living in Portland, Maine. Anyway, I'm Doug with the Make Maine Your Home team over Remax Oceanside, and let's jump right in there. All right, let's see. Number one, in no particular order, limited public transportation. When I lived downtown Portland, you know, I was able to catch the bus, the Metro bus that goes right down, you know, Congress Street. That was pretty easy when I lived and worked right in that sliver of area, but it is very limited outside of Portland. I mean, you know, public transportation is lacking. There is a Metro that runs you know, Portland, South Portland, that's really about all we have is like the Metro bus. So, you know, you're going to need a car or, you know, if you, you know, bike, walk, Portland is a good walkable city if you like to do that. So you could, if you live and work right in Portland, that those are options, but you are going to be limited on public transportation. Number two, we got listed here traffic and parking. I know uh, in the past I've talked about how there's no traffic in Portland. So apparently we're catching up a little bit. There's some traffic, especially right downtown Portland, especially in the summer. There is uh, some issues there as far as getting around right downtown Portland. But we included parking on this because parking is an issue in Portland. Can't tell you how many times we've gone like, hey, it's date night. Let's go out. Let's go out to X restaurant. And it takes you a while just to find a place to park and park close to the restaurant. So we are limited as far as parking goes. They're building it. <laughs> you know, it's coming and hopefully it'll be enough. Uh, but we are limited there. Number three, though, is tourist crowds. This kind of goes with like the whole traffic and parking thing that I was just talking about. You know, in the summertime, the tourists come. There can be a lot of them. You know, really, the, the, the population goes way up in the summer. A lot of moving around, a lot of shaking. Everybody's trying to get places to see everything and, and enjoy Portland and enjoy Maine for the summer. So, you know, the crowds and stuff is very big in the summertime. Also spills into, you know, fall season, you know, the, uh, the leaf peepers. Winter tends to die out a little bit. People tend to go back home or, you know, head down south or whatnot. So the population does go down in the winter. But summer and fall, big times, a lot of people, a lot of influx of people for sure. Number four, cost of living. We've had, we've done a lot of videos about cost of living here in Maine. Housing prices is, is expensive. The job market and all that stuff isn't great. You know, outside of the tourism, um, there's a few other big companies, things like that. Although, you know, nowadays you can work from anywhere. Maybe like a lot of software engineers are coming here, things like that. Uh, but the cost of living can be very high, especially the housing costs. It's a lot. And of course, you know, taxes, property taxes, other taxes and general expenses can can be high here in Maine. So you want to be prepared if you're looking to move here. Once you're living here, you kind of notice like, wow, it can get a little pricey here. Number five, limited nightlife options. We've talked about, you know, Portland and like the food, the restaurants here are unbelievably good. But as far as nightlife goes, like, you know, a lot of restaurants close at nine. You know, if you want anything after that, you're out of luck. Bars uh, close at one here. A lot of them start to wind down at 11 or 12. I remember when I first moved here, you know, as a young guy in their 20s, we all went out first time in Portland. I came from Buffalo. New York where you know bars are open till like four in the morning and uh, so we got here and we we went out at midnight that's just like what we did and of course you know we started getting last call 45 minutes later we had like one drink and we're like wait it's last call what the heck so we had to adjust our schedules and all that stuff that way uh, but limited nightlife here you know I've always said I would I like like piano bars and stuff there's not many of those um, so you've got limited options you know even though the food here is great the music scene is pretty good the nightlife options are limited there you go five things that aren't so great about Portland or people hate about living here. You know, we just wanted to share that information for you, be an open book and let you know those things. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you know, comment below. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and one of these buttons over here. You get a lot of great information about real estate, the state of Maine, cool things to do, all that kind of stuff. And of course, if you have any questions at any time, comment below or hit us up on all social media platforms and we'd love to help you out. And uh, we love talking about Maine and real estate in Maine.